If you are a Disney fan like me, part of the joys of being a parent is being able to scour the internet for all sorts of really cute Disney themed clothes. In this video, I am going to show you my summer 2021 haul from several different stores, including Hannah Anderson, Little Sleepies, Kohl's, and Jamie and Jack. Let's get into it. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny. I am a teacher, mom, doctoral student, and expecting baby number two this month. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. And in this video, I wanted to show you all the different things that I've gotten for my 15 month old for a little bit further out in the future. Some things she can wear currently, but a lot of it is for 2T and sizes like that. All Disney themed. If there's anything that really speaks to you, it should be in the description box down below and you should be able to buy it yourself. The price points on these range all the way from free to $99. So it's a large gamut of prices, but when you see the $99 dress, I mean, I had to buy it for my daughter, Alice. I had to. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the most affordable option here, which is Kohl's. Kohl's has a ton of Disney stuff. They actually have a partnership with a company called Jumping Beans, and they have lots of really cute toddler Disney stuff. So let me show you the stuff that I got from Kohl's, as well as the price for each of the items. So the first thing I got is this cute pair of mini, sh mini pants right here. These mini pants were $4.87. Kohl's pretty much always has some sort of coupon, so these were $4.87. I also got her some gray pants. These these gray pants right here were $8.99 sale price, but I want to say I used a 20% off coupon, but they were $8.99 and that's what they are on the website right now. But like I said, make sure you check Kohl's for coupons. They have so many different coupons. Both of these different pairs of pants were in size 2T. The next thing that I got from Kohl's is this adorable pair of shorts. I am obsessed with these shorts. They are so cute. They have little pockets on the back. I can't even deal with how cute they are. So I did spend a little bit more on these, but I think they're totally worth it because of how stinking cute they are. These gray shorts were $8.79. That's how much I paid for them. The last thing I got from Kohl's was actually free. Um, as you may or may not know, if you have a Kohl's near you, you can use Kohl's cash after you've earned it. So I actually had $5 of Kohl's cash and this really cute Ariel shirt was $3.50. So I used my Kohl's cash and paid $0 for it. So it is on clearance right now. If you want this shirt, I would suggest checking your local Kohl's. Um, I got this as a pickup in store item. So it's based entirely around the stock that's around you. So if you want a cute Ariel shirt that is on clearance for $3.50, it also has a little bow in the back. Super cute. You can get that. Okay, so that was everything from Kohl's. Now we're gonna move up in the price bracket, just a hair, to Shop Disney. Now I've bought lots of stuff from Shop Disney. Shop Disney almost always has some sort of coupon code. And when I bought this really adorable swimsuit I'm gonna show you, it was $16.98. I think full price, it's around $24. Never pay full price on Shop Disney. So always look for those coupons on Shop Disney as well. Okay, so I wanna show you this swimsuit. I love how cute it is, it's so stinking cute. It is a two-piece swimsuit. We plan on putting my daughter into swim class when she turns two. So this is a poo top. Look how cute it is, I love it. And a little pair of shorts to go with it. And they tie on the side. And again, this was right around $17 for this. So cute. I also bought Alice a matching towel and bag that were on sale as well. I'll put a picture of the items from the Disney site right over here. So the towel and bag I also got, and I also recently, very recently got the cover up that goes with it as well. It hasn't come in yet, but they do have a matching cover up. So you could get the swimsuit, this very, very, it's just ridiculously adorable poo swimsuit, a towel that matches, a cover up that matches, and of course a swim bag that matches. Okay, the next brand I wanted to, to show you some Disney stuff from. I love this brand, it is my favorite sleepwear brand, but we'll see after I try this other sleepwear brand too. But that's Hannah Anderson. Now, Hannah Anderson is a little bit pricey, and I highly recommend you wait on the stuff that you want until it's on sale. Because Hannah Anderson full price, their pajamas are pretty pricey, but they are high quality. And one thing that makes me feel a little bit better about buying them is the fact that I'm expecting baby number two any day now, and it's another girl. So I have two girls that will be able to wear this. Sorry, baby number two, you're gonna get a lot of hand-me-downs. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I got from Hannah Anderson are these really cute bike shorts. 
These are a little Mickey print bike shorts and I got these in a 2T. Hannah tends to run a little bit more snug, so I think these really will fit her. If I wanted to start them maybe before she turned two, she'd probably fit them pretty well. These bike shorts were $15.40 because they were on sale and I would not spend more than that on a pair of bike shorts, but they are really high quality. They feel really nice and I think they'll keep her cool in the summertime. So I envisioned her wearing these next summer, hopefully when we get to go back to Disney. I am a sucker for a sale, so the second item is a sale item. It is in size 18 months actually, because I'm going to have Alice wear it during the holidays this year. So that is actually a set of Marvel pajamas. So it has Groot on it and Rocket Raccoon with some holiday lights. It is so cute. And it comes with a matching pair of pants which is perfect too for when I start potty training Alice. She'll be able to actually, you know, access her little underwear to try to use the potty. So this little Groot set is $15.99 and it's currently on sale on the website. I think it's actually on clearance. So if you want this set, I would probably go on there and try to get it now. I am a big proponent of buying holiday stuff on clearance the year before. I know that makes me a little crazy, but I don't like paying full price for stuff as much as I can avoid it, but you'll see in just a second, I didn't avoid it for some other brands. <laughs> but I love this and I can't wait to see her in this. And I actually got a matching set of pajamas for her and her sister for this holiday season, I'm sure you're gonna see in an upcoming video. One other thing before I move on to the two luxury brands, I will be taking a trip to Disney with both of my girls. In October, I am in a wedding for one of my dear friends and she is getting married in Orlando because she lives there. So we'll be taking the girls to Disney. So if you're interested in all things Disney, make sure you stick around because we will be going over all of the prep for how to bring an infant and a toddler to Disney World. All right, let's look at these last two brands. The first one I have never worn before, but it comes highly recommended to me. I've heard lots of different parents say that it is just so comfortable and awesome, and that's Little Sleepies. So Little Sleepies recently had a collaboration with Disney, and of course, I could not avoid it. Even though everything is full price, it's just so cute, I couldn't. I couldn't avoid it. So the first thing I actually got was something for me, which is rare, don't usually get things for me, but that's because it comes as a matching set. You can actually get them to match with your child's pajamas. So for me, I have this pair of pajama pants and it's got a moon and Minnie and Pluto and it's just really cute, Mickey's on there too. Really, really cute print. And you can also get the shirt to go with it. I got a medium because I am nine months pregnant. I plan on wearing this after I'm pregnant, but it actually is pretty nicely sized. Like this is a pretty big shirt for a medium and it's nice and stretchy. I plan on pumping and breastfeeding, so it was important for me to have something that was comfortable and not too restrictive. So my top, this top was $31 and the pants were $33. Between the two of them, my pajamas were $64. I know, $64 for pajamas. But you know, I guess my thought is, I'm gonna be living in them for the next three months while I'm home with my newborn. So yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna splurge a little bit on myself. <laughs> now what really sold me about this little Sleepies collection and why I decided to pull the trigger and spend more than I should have on pajamas is the fact that you can get matching sizes all across the board. So if you had like a seven year old and a two year old, you could get matching pajamas for them as well. So I actually got this tiny little sleeper for my daughter that's about to be born sometime in the next few weeks. It is so cute and it's a short john because it is the summertime right now and I live in Georgia and it is very hot. But it's really nice, it feels really nice and not too hot, which is really important for Georgia. This pajama set and also the one I'm going to show you for my daughter Alice who's 15 months, they are both $35 each, which is a lot, but again, my thought is my second child can wear these Alice pajamas once she's 15 months old. So here's the larger one. Again, they're the exact same pajamas, but I just got them in two different sizes, one for my newborn and one for my 15 month old daughter. Okay, the last two things I got from Little Sleepies, I could not resist. It is a princess print and I just, could not stand how cute it was. I got it in two different sizes and two different styles. They're both for my older daughter, but obviously they're for both children eventually. This first set is a set of 2T separates that has all the princesses on it. It is really cute. It's very lightweight so that it is not too hot, but this is a separate set and it comes with a little pair of shorts. This was also $35. It seems like all of their child pajamas are $35 for the set. 
I also got my daughter another 12 to 18 month short john with the princess print. I would have gotten myself the princess print, and again, these are $35, but they were sold out. But you know what, to be honest, I think that the navy blue of the Mickey print is gonna look a little bit better on me than the pink. All right, the last item I wanna show you is the most expensive thing that I bought, and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> this dress is absolutely beautiful. It's from Janie and Jack, and it is part of their Alice in Wonderland collection that just released, and I mean, my daughter's name is Alice. I couldn't avoid it. And one thing that made it easier for me to do is the fact that her grandmother, her Hanwini, gave us some money to get something for Alice, and we figured this is totally indulgent for Alice, but it is absolutely beautiful. This is an Alice in Wonderland print dress. It has a crinoline skirt underneath it, some little bows on the top, and we got it in a 2T size. Now, I'm gonna show you a close-up of the dress because it is just that pretty. This dress was $99, so it is expensive. Maybe eventually it'll go on sale. But with a child named Alice, we had to get one thing from this collection and I cannot wait to see her in it once she's two years old. She's gonna be so precious. So the print on this dress is basically little pictures of Alice and the White Rabbit. It is an absolutely beautiful dress. I'm so excited for her to wear it. So that is all of my Disney haul for spring, summer 2021. Is there another place that you like to shop for Disney things? Are you a big Disney fan? Are you worried that your child's gonna grow up to hate it? Like I'm kind of worried because everything I buy right now is Disney. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do all sorts of parenting, newborn, and educational content. And like I said, I'll be taking a trip to Disney in October and we'll be cataloging all of that as well. I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you next time. Take care.